Okay, y'all, just give me a minute. I got to go in here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, y'all, I was in the middle of recording some stuff for y'all, um, and the, the, the laptop just froze up, so I'm having to reboot it and all that. So it's just a mess. It really is. But I did file my... Um, I did file my... Whatever they call that. What they call that? I filed my extension, my tax extension. I mean, I, I believe that I'm going to be through with it, but just, just in case, you know? Just in case. But y'all, we finna go outside because I have something that I want to put on the table and I'm going to let y'all decide. I'm going to let whoever it is decide what, to, you know, what, what to do. But hold on, I got to put on my sweats. Not gray sweats, but black sweats. And then we're going to walk outside. Because I don't even feel like going through the whole... I mean, the computer has rebooted up. But you have to log into this and log into that. and I got a lot of event stuff over here. So, I have to get my keyboard going and my mouse going and all this other stuff. I use a special kind of mouse over here. I use a 3D mouse. And I do use advanced stuff, y'all. In case you don't know it. A lot of people are doing the same stuff that... You know what? From the minute you heard of them, they're doing the same thing. The same evil stuff. And you know what? Leave them right there doing what it is they do. Because believe me, karma is probably all over that. And I know y'all hear me talk about that, but it's true. Some of you may get sick of me talking about it, but, you know, if you don't have people stalking you since 2018, then you would never understand. But we're getting ready to walk outside. Hold on. I have to cover stuff up because, you know, these devils, they may have found over here. And not that I really give a damn because I don't, you know, that's how you catch crooks. Don't you know that's how a lot of people are, are locked up in penitentiaries because somebody, uh, somebody set a trap for them. Have y'all seen those shows where they'll where they'll leave a car unlocked and then they record people still in the car? It's like that. A lot of people already know what that's about because they've already been arrested. They've already served prison time. A lot of people already been locked up for stalking and harassment. So when they've already been locked up for stalking and harassment and I won't go into all the other more serious crimes. It's very easy to have them locked right back up again because there's a history of it. 
There's a history of them doing it. They've already been arrested for it. They've already been locked up for doing it. So it's very easy to get them locked up again. Y'all wanna see, um, y'all wanna see my cat? Y'all might not can't see it. Where is he? Y'all can't see him. But his eyes is pretty. I can't even, I don't know how to operate this, this, um, Oh, there he is. Y'all see him? A black cat. Now, some people think they're bad luck, but they're actually majestic. They're magical. This cat came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. It was out here in the yard with the rest of them one day. And it was, it was so loud. It was like the squeaky wheel, so I had to oil it. And now, as you can see, you know, he has a home. There he is, you can see him right there. Let y'all see him. And his name is, um, I named him Stuck, I think. Yeah, his name is Stuck. So hey Stuck, y'all say hey to Stuck. But anyway, let me go ahead and get to the purpose of of, um, of why I went live. I don't even know what the title of this thing say. Let me see if I can figure out what the title say. I don't even know. Something I typed in. Reboot, yeah, the reason I called it Reboot because I had to reboot my laptop. But anyway, the, the main reason um, the main reason that I went live, let me look around and make sure there ain't no snakes around here. Because they're pretty good at killing snakes. Matter of fact, they're very good at killing snakes. Um, but the, reason, the main reason that I went live is because, um, it's because, um, it's because I, I want to collaborate so if you guys, if you know, if y'all know any guys, okay, any guys that um, that you think that would be interested in collaborating, then just let me know. Um, you can go into my into my messages. Now, I think last time I checked, I had 21 messages. I have to be in the mood to check my messages, so I don't always check them. You know, I have, I really try to keep my mind on creating because that's, that's actually what I do. So, you know, and then I wear all these other hats too. You know, I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a music composer, I'm a music producer, I'm a music arranger, you know. Um, I'm a I'm an artist, you know, um, you know, and then I'm going to be doing a movie too. So there's a lot that I have to do, and so when you wear all these different hats, you know, it's just hard to like stay focused, and I have to make sure that I stay focused because uh, I have you know there's there's just something that I'm I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm not trying to be like anybody else. You know, I wasn't made like anybody else. So what sense would it make for me to be around here trying to be like anybody else? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, you got people that do that. You got people that sit around and record every word come out of your mouth so they can mimic you. I'm talking about what they're doing to me. For years, they do that. They probably would have did it well before when they started doing it. Maybe they didn't have access to recording devices to do it. But since they've gotten access to recording devices to do it, it's been happening for at least four years. A minimum of four years. <clears throat> Sitting around recording every word come out of my mouth, everything I do you know, recording it, archiving it, keeping record of it, studying it, 
studying how I talk, you know, studying how I do what I do, you know, mimicking, imitating, duplicating, making a blueprint of me is creepy. And you see how these same people have latched themselves on to other people? I'm assuming who get more views or whatever. And so they feel like, well, well, since I'm latched on to them, I'm better than you. But at the end of the day, you can't do nothing. See, at the end of the day, there's nobody there. And I've talked about that. With these people, whatever happened to them early in their childhood, it damaged them so much. It was so horrific. It was so disturbing. The abuse was so bad that they don't have an identity. So they go through their whole lives and believe me, they have a field day on social media. But before social media, they were doing that to people that they ran across in their real life. Matter of fact, they've been doing it their whole life. That's why they're very good at impersonating people. It's all they've ever done. They've had to do it because there's nobody home. The reason there's nobody home is because they were severely, you know, mentally abused, psychologically abused, physically abused, sexually abused. Whatever, whatever kind of abuse that there is has probably happened to them. It doesn't mean all of them, but between the whole community of them, some type of abuse has happened. And so that's why they're so bonded. It's like they're bonded by trauma. Don't look around for me around nothing like that. I ain't up on no social media app trying to look up no monsters anywhere. I ain't up on no social media app trying to look up no demons nowhere in the world. I ain't up on no social media app trying to look up no devils. I'm not out trying to be accepted by some evil community. I ain't never needed nothing like that. My life ain't never been that messed up. I can't imagine going through my life having to find somebody else to put inside of me because there's nobody there. It's sick. So that would explain the lurking, the looming, the hovering, the stalking, the recording, the mimicking, you know, the love bombing, the imitating, the duplicating, the snooping, the peeking, the ducking, the hiding, the creating accounts, the renaming accounts. The years of looking for a name that don't even exist, like West Coast West. Spending years, I will never know who all participated in that. Because a lot of them never show themselves. But I know they sick. I know anybody that has ever played any part in something like that is sick. I know that anybody that loves anybody that sit around doing that, something wrong with you too. You will never find me around no kind of monsters like that. They're all over these apps. Now, they could be listening right now. I don't care. It won't stop anything I'm doing over here. All I did was walk away. Well, they follow you. And then they want to find out your life. They want to find out your finances. They want to find out your family, your relatives, your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your granddaddy, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your kids, your baby mamas, your baby daddies, researching their families, you know, wanting to know where you work at, where, where all the different places you've worked at, where are you currently working, calling your jobs, getting your social security number, your name, your address, your phone number, searching your emails. I'm, I'm letting y'all know. I'm not going to lie to you. 
There are real devils up on this app, and they deserve whatever happened to them in their life. They deserve whatever happened to any of their relatives in their life. Karma is all over them. Some of them will be working for the rest of their life because they just now started working somewhere, probably within the last year or two. And the envy, the envy is very deep. That's why they spend years. If you're only motivated to find out somebody else's life and you spend years doing it, the envy has to eat you alive. And that's the only joy I get out of it. Knowing whatever has happened to them and theirs, that's the only joy I get out of it. Other than that, I don't want nothing to do with you. But I'm very happy about what has happened to you and yours. And whatever it was, I'm happy about it. People don't want to hear about that stuff. Y'all need to learn about different monsters up on these apps, these different devils, these different demons sitting right up under you as damaged and broken as can be I ain't up on here to save nobody I ain't never tried to save nobody your problem is your problem don't have nothing to do with me what you were served up was meant for you what happened to your kids that was meant for you don't have nothing to do with me. They want to blame folks. And, and that's really why they want to hurt you because they've been so hurt. You know, unwanted, unloved. I don't know how they was treated. I guess like garbage or something. I wouldn't know about anything like that. But that's why they want your life so bad. Got whole communities of people that sit around and do this. All of it ain't nothing but evil. I love it. Can you imagine the suffering? The only thing that motivates you is sitting around every day trying to destroy somebody you will never be. Trying to destroy somebody that you envy them. Everything about them. It ain't even got to be material. They envy the way you talk. Envy the way you act. And, you know, like I say, there, there are psychologists. And, and the, these psychologists will tell you there is no help for these people. They know it. There is no help at all. There's all these different names for them. Now, I'm going to make sure they hear this. I wouldn't dare want anybody over here to cross paths with anybody like that. For them to be stalking your family, stalking your family's life, calling your family's jobs, searching for your family for years. These are sick individuals. Um, please build more penitentiaries and insane asylums. They're needed. I ain't never emailed nobody saying, please watch me. I ain't never cried. I ain't never went, went on no social media app and cried like a baby because wasn't nobody watching me. What you think they're doing if somebody watched me? Trying to destroy me. That's what they do. And they're motivated by envy. The envy run just that deep. They will work for years. And according to these psychologists that know about them, they will work for the rest of their life. You think I would want somebody like that to have information on me? They're trying to find it. They've been spending four and five years looking for it, stalking me before I even knew it. There are 
pure, unadulterated devils up on these apps. I would never, ever want any of you to come in contact with any of them. I have no contact. That's what that psychologist says. Have no contact with them. Zero contact. And then you get tired of people stealing what you do, stealing your ideas. They think they can be a better you than you are. Well, over here, there's somebody home. Over there, there's nobody home. Just an empty shell. Ain't nothing inside of it. They have to go through their life putting something inside of there. And they'll take it from whoever they come in contact with. And the more popular you are, they feel like, well, I can live vicariously through whoever this is. So that makes me better than you. Well, be better. You can't be that much better if you're spending years stalking me. They never forget who you are. See, what it is, when they come across you, there's something that they put that's pertaining to you. They put it in their brain. And then they can never make, make heads or tails of it. And see, and then when I walked away, that left them with all of that confusion. All of that mental, uh, you know, I don't know. Somewhat them, like a hoop that what them broke down on the side of the road, right? Cars keep on going. I'm one of them cars. Now, some of y'all might stop, you know, being nice. Being naive. Ooh, there's somebody over here on the road that need help. No, they trying to rob you. They trying to set you up. I would never put y'all in the path of anything like that. Damn, I put too much cream in there. I got to fill the coffee cup all the way up now. I will always talk about this. Because y'all need to know about these people. I would never tell you who they are. I would never point you to, to them. I would never give you their names. But I'm just letting you know they're out there. They're lurking. They're looming. They're stalking. They're psychopaths. Pure, unadulterated psychos. And I love that part of it. And I intend to make sure you stay like that. I don't want y'all to get caught up with them. Feeling sorry for them. Ooh, this happened to you? Ooh, this happened to your, to your child? Ooh, this happened to your mama. Ooh, this happened to your kids. Ooh, this happened to your whole family. That is just so sad. No, it's a setup. Yeah, it happened, but what y'all don't know is they deserved it. That's, that, that's the part nobody gets. There's a reason that it happened. They don't want you to ever consider things like that. Well, I'm a monster. Yeah, th these things happen to monsters. Yeah, I'm a demon. Yeah, these things happen to demons. Yeah, I'm a devil. These things, yeah. I know that now. That's why I will always say whatever happened to them, any of them, or anything got to do with them, anything came out of them. Anything that, that they came out of, it was deserved. It was how it's supposed to be. There are people on these apps that are very gullible. Ooh, this happened to you. It's just so sad. 
Let me subscribe to you. Let me start listening to you. Let me start watching you. And before long, you're going to end up being a monster like them. There are people that have been sitting up listening to these people for years. As they go on and on and on. I mean, they've even listened to the thousands of hours of footage that has been done on me. Not hundreds of hours, thousands of hours. Got that much to say about an avatar. That you wake up, ain't concerned about no job, ain't concerned about, you know, your kids that's all damaged. Even though they grown, believe me, I got sense enough to know all of them messed up. Well, maybe this is an escape from all of that. Let me get up and talk about, you know, me. Three and four times a day, all through the day and night. Got that much to say about me. Thousands of hours. And guess who's listening? Monsters like them. Devils like them. Demons like them. Evil. And if you knew what has happened to them, it will blow your mind. I thank God that there are certain things that I do know. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And I'm fine with what, whatever was done to you. I'm fine with all of it. It was how it was supposed to be. You know what? Thank God that happened to you and your family. That's where I am with it. That's the universe. It's already been made right. Before I ever heard of you, it was made right. You know what? The universe knew what you were going to be doing before you even did it. That's why karma done moved in. Karma done went through Every last one of your kids done went through you. Ain't nobody never put me in no hospital. Ain't nobody never kicked in my skull. Ain't nobody never busted my eardrums. Ain't nobody ever broke a bone in my body, much less my back. A human doing that to another human. You know what I think? I think that human realized, you know what? I'm in the presence of a monster. And kudos to the people that are waking up and realizing that. See, all I did was walk away. Can you imagine somebody who can't get away from something like that? Well, we already know what they're trying to do. It. If somebody doing all of that to you, they trying to kill you. I don't have to do nothing. Look what all of them have to get together and do. It's too many of them to count. I don't have enough fingers and toes. Hiding, recording, you know, just straight up demons, demonic. A whole demonic community of monsters, of devils, of demons. They'll hear it. I'll make sure of it. That's why I'm talking about it. But let's get back to the subject. If y'all know anybody, any guys that I would, you know, well, that may be interested in collaborating with me and what I'm doing over here. You know, put some fillers out. You may know somebody. That's the reason I went live. Let y'all know that. You may know somebody. I mean, there's no shortage of, of guys. I mean, you know, I don't have a shortage of them. But y'all may know somebody that, wanna, that wants to actually do an actual collaboration. And if you do, just just um, just leave it in my in my messages. OK, and I will protect any of you people over here. I will never, ever want you to cross paths with evil. The evil that I'm aware of. I would never want you to cross paths with anybody like that. I would not want you to be put in danger. Your, your job, your finances, your life, your family's lives all of that. A lot of these people have already been arrested. And the thing about it is these apps, they roll out the red carpet for these criminals, for these psychopathic criminals. There's whole communities of them. 
They all work together. And believe me, all kind of horrific stuff, the most unimaginable abuse has already happened to them. That's why they like that. And that's why they're bonded together like that. We will never have anything to do with anything like that over here. But I will talk about it because I want you to always be aware of it. They're on TikTok too. I found that out. The ones I know about are blocked from over here. And that's one thing I like about TikTok. When you block somebody, they can't watch you. So hit my messages up if you if you know of anybody or anything like that. I'm going to try to upload two more videos because I started... Um, but then my, then my laptop locked up. I have two that I'm going to upload, and then I'm going to call it a day. Okay? Thanks for tuning in. And it's just, you know, I know y'all may get sick of hearing about it, but I want you to always keep that in the foremost portion of your brain. You know, they're never going to come looking like a monster, acting like a monster. Ooh, you're so great. Ooh, I just, I just love you. Ooh, I'm sitting up under you. Every time you look around, they're there. They're working with other people. That's why they're there. Wicked, evil, it's in this world. It's real, and it's rampant on these apps. The envy, it do something to them. It eat them alive. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go through. Okay, welcome C. Welcome um, B. I'm going to do it this way. I'm, I'm not going to call out y'all name on here. Welcome C, welcome B, welcome R, 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 welcome Art, welcome John. 